It was a working dinner. My work, company pays. Uh, I don't know. I just feel kind of weird after what it turned into. Well, then it stopped being work. You know, if it'll solve your ethics problem, you can reimburse me for these. Are they $5.57, I believe? Mm. Let me know about Friday. None of the usual suspects. Age isn't right, in apparent perfect health before this incident, MRI PET scan negative for change. Test him again. It's gotta be cancer. Sorry, I'm late. Car broke down on the interstate. Don't believe you. Captain Seven also shows a poor kidney function. Now, why would a guy in his 20s have a poor kidney function? Cancer. It first attacks the bones and then the kidneys. Come on, people. He was 17 and 7. ZRA was 2.1. You want it to be his kidneys. Because if it's his kidneys, then maybe we can treat it. Maybe we can fix it. And if it's cancer, then he'll never pitch again. If this were a regular guy who came in and broke his arm lifting a box, you would have packed him up and sent him home. My god, you're right. I lost my head. All life is equally sacred. And I promise you, the next knitting injury that comes in here, we're on it like stink on cheese. He weighed 175 his rookie year. Stop. Now he's 195 after playing a year in Japan. Why? He let himself go. Steroids! If the guy was a drug user, I'm sure he wouldn't have balked at pumping up through chemicals. That explained the white guy and the kidney problems. And the bone loss. Go ask him what he's on. When he says nothing, have him pee in a cup. If your car breaks down, you're an hour late, not two minutes. And two minutes isn't late enough to use a clever excuse like car trouble. I was coming in early. Huh. Unprompted lies. It's a bad sign. Either a guilty conscience or something personal is going on. See, that's all you had to do. Just walk in, sit down, do your job. Hey, the lab call, she a match? Haven't heard yet. You got a text message though, Friday night. Very quick day. Gee, thanks for checking. Can you cover for me? Oncology seminar. Friday night, the same thing as the car trouble? I had car trouble. How says you were lying? I believe him. What's that? You got a little wet smudge at the end of your nose. Hey, I like the guy. He says what he wants, does what he wants. He won't talk to anyone unless he can jerk them around. Or needs a thousand bucks. Who's with that? It's hookers. Oh my God. <laughs> Multiple hookers. But a house is house, right? He's got to have it his way. <laughs> Four or five women. That's not even funny. What? You don't think he has sex? No, of course well, he doesn't. Know. He doesn't have sex. He makes love. <laughs> I didn't say that. It's the lab. Dr. Foreman? If the patient decides to go the dialysis route, we got some product you should check out. Mm. Hey, Dr. Foreman. Courtesy of the generous Sharon and the good folks at Castine Pharmaceuticals. I was just telling the guys about the Bermuda Conference in April. Mm. Three days of sun and scuba and one hour of lecture. Oh, God. <laughs> Do we have to go to lecture? So, you're the new Arnie. Dr. House, it's uh, good to see you. Would you get me a coffee? Black, no sugar. Okay, so who is it? Come on, she's sleeping with one of you. Oh, God, please tell me it's you. She buys lunches. She doesn't... Don't worry. You're not gay. You're adventurous. You think she's going to prostitute herself? The three of us are that important to her? I'm afraid not, no. The groupies sleep with the rodents in order to get to Mick. And you're Mick? That was the metaphor I was making, yes. Why are you here? Damn, it's you. It's not Addison's. New symptom, inability to smell. I was just in Hank's room, and he said it smelled like the men's room at Veterans Stadium. He was right. We rejected environmental causes because the wife was healthy. Well, she's not. Last six months, she can't smell a thing. 
If you think of them as one single patient, you add her symptoms to his. Got me in poisoning. Explains everything. I mean, why they had so much trouble getting pregnant. How could they have gotten exposed to that much cadmium? Unless they were eating still in batteries for breakfast. So, where else is cadmium? Some foods, polluted groundwater. We should check their home. I think I know how it happened. So what about house? Is there any way we get them down there? You really want to 